Oh mga friendship, baka hindi ka pa nagsusubscribe. Subscribe na. Baybayin muna natin ang universe. Sa isang bahagi ng universe, makikita mo ang small blue planet. Ang pangatlong bato magmula sa isang star na tinatawag natin araw. Ang saan ay isa lamang billion of stars in a spiral galaxy known as Milky Way Galaxy. Pero nasaan nga ba ang Milky Way Galaxy sa universe? Alam nyo ba na 8,000 na mga galaxies pa ang nakapalibot sa Milky Way Galaxy? Yang maliit na pula na yan, yan ay Milky Way Galaxy. At isa lamang siya sa napakadaming billions na mga stars sa universe at yan ay tinawag nating Lani Akea. Panoorin natin ang video na galing sa Wikipedia. You can see that most galaxies are being pulled towards a dense center. This is known as the Great Attractor. Our galaxy is among those sliding towards this patch of space, which dominates our region of the universe. It's surrounding galaxies with Virgo and nearly a hundred other clusters in a supercluster that stretches a hundred million light years across. But using this new technique, we can see that this is just the tip of the iceberg. This cluster of clusters is merely an appendage of a much larger supercluster, more than 100 times bigger and more massive. But how did the team know how to redraw the boundaries of this cosmic mass that we are a part of? So now we know that on the edge of a supercluster called Laniakea, in a galaxy called the Milky Way, around a star we call the Sun, there is a small blue planet, our home. Other members of the solar system, we have the comets, meteoroids, and asteroids. So let us compare and contrast comets, meteors, and asteroids. Comets may not orbit the sun in the same direction as the planet. Has a tail that points away from the sun. It is made up of ice and dust and we call that a shoemaker levy 9 and that is the comets. Asteroids are made up of rocks and metals. It orbits the sun in the same direction as the planets, also known as minor planet, and that is asteroid Ceres. Now, we come across with meteors. Meteors is also known as the falling star. Meteors is measured less than 100 meters in diameter. It is also most burned up as they enter the atmosphere. Panoorin natin ang isang clip. Stay lang kayo dyan. Falling at the sky, meteor showers are a reminder of our place in a dynamic and beautiful cosmic ecosystem. Characteristics of a comet. Comets are icy bodies in the space that release gas or dust. They are open, often compared to a dirty snowballs. Comets contain dust, ice, carbon dioxide, ammonia, and methane gas. Asteroids. Asteroids are minor planets, especially if it is in the inner solar system. Larger asteroids have also been called planetoids. This term has historically been applied to any astronomical object orbiting the sun. Some of the largest planetoids are spherical and look like a tiny version of planets. The smaller ones are irregular in shape, though the object range in size from around 10 meters 
to 100 meters or kilometers in diameter. Objects smaller than 10 meters are called meteoroids. There are two compositions of asteroids. The most common is probably consists of clay and silicate rocks and are dark in appearance. The second type are made up of silicate materials and nickel iron. So it is metallic. Meteoroids are objects in space that are ranged in size from dust grains to small asteroids. Think of them as a space rocks. When a meteoroid enters Earth's atmosphere or that of another planet like Mars at high speed and burn up. The fireballs or shooting stars are called meteors. Describe meteors, meteorites, and meteoroids. Meteors are not meteorites. Like meteorites, meteors are objects that enter Earth atmosphere from the space. Typically, pieces of comet thus no longer than a grain of rice. What is meteorite? In a simple terms, a meteorite is a rock that falls to Earth from space. The vast majority of the meteorites are pieces of asteroids and small rocky bodies that orbits the Sun, mostly Mars and Jupiter. Para mas mabilis nating maintindihan, ang comets, asteroids, at saka meteors, gagawa tayo ng concept mapping. Ito ay bilang summary ng diniscuss natin kanina sa umpisa ng video na ito. Uulitin ko, ito yung mga characteristics na makikita mo sa comets, asteroids, at meteors. Gagawa kayo ng crossword puzzle according dito sa ibinigay kong mga words. Okay, meron tayong Apollo, Bolaid, Ceres, Comet, Icarus, Iron, Nucleus, Planet, Shooting Star, Stony, Tail, Meteorite, Asteroids, Carbon, Coma, Earth, Ice, Meteor, Orbit, Rock, Solar Wind, Sun, and Vesta. Time for another activity. Specific Objectives Letter A Describe how impact craters are formed when a comet and asteroid hits Earth based on simulation. Letter B. Present observation on simulating a comment or asteroid's impact using drawings. Tara, gawin na natin yung unang objective. Ano ang mangyayari sa mundo kung makapasok ang comet at saka asteroid? Ito ang mga materials na gagamitin natin para sa ating activity. Pebbles or bato na 1 to 4 cm ang diameter. Isang lagayan at pwede tayong gumamit ng ibang materials maliban sa flour. Pagkatapos natin pantayin ang buhangin, inihulog natin ang bato. Kikita mo ang crater na gawa ng bato.
Pag mas malaking bato ang ating gamitin, magkakaroon ng mas greater impact. The last procedure is throw the pebbles. Pag mas dang mabuti ang mga crater at i-compare mo dito sa picture. Meron ba silang pagkakahawig? Gumawa kayo mga anak ng sarili nyong experiment. Iguhit ang shape ng crater sa activity na iyong ginawa. Viewed from top and side. Magiiwan ako ng dalawang guide questions para sa activity na inyong ginawa. Bye bye for now! Huwag niyong kalimutan mag-subscribe, mag-like, at share mo na rin ang video ito sa iyong mga kaibigan at dating kaklase. Bye! See you on my next video.